Hello everyone. Good morning. So today I'll be covering critical flow model in e-governance. Okay. Today I made a video on broadcasting or wider dissemination model. This is the second model that is critical flow model. So as the name as the name tells, we can see the principle of this model is the model is based on broadcasting information of critical value. Okay. So critical flow means only. the critical information okay that is only broadcasted or that is only disseminated and that to only to a targeted audience so two keywords you have to remember in a critical flow model one is the information is of critical value that is it is very sensitive information and second is who is going to receive the information so only the targeted audience so in broadcasting we saw that the information was disseminated to everyone but here it is only it is only information is only disclosed to targeted audience so let's see the principle the model is based on broadcasting information of critical value which is by its nature will not be disclosed by those involved with bad governance practice okay so what is the critical value what is the information of critical value okay so these are the information related to bad governance practice okay like illegal information or uh, some information uh that is not uh, legitimate so that type of information some bad governance practice information that is disseminated to target audience again how this information is disseminated it is disseminated using ICT and other tool ICT means information and communication tool so who are this targeted audience okay so targeted audience they may include media any media person affected parties opposition parties judicial bench those who are involved in judicial work independent investigators or general public okay so they can be some particular audience only those who disclose such information could include upright officials and workers affected parties okay so those who are going to disclose information for example there is a party who has been affected or who has been cheated so he or she can disclose the information related to other party or other corrupted party okay and those who were themselves in fall in bad governance so this is very dear okay for example some person some politician who was involved in bad governance some um, uh, government employee who was involved in bad governance and he himself surrenders that okay i have i have did this bad thing i want to disclose information so this is very dear thing that is those who were involved in bad governance practice but now have changed their mind or may wish to trade such information for forgiving punishments okay again this reduces the cases of exploitative governance possible earlier due to time lag between availability of information to different users okay so this model it's very uh, different model every country cannot apply this model because uh, this contains very sensitive information that is disseminated to a targeted group okay so this uh, model what it does is it, it reduces the exploitative or bad governance very like in a good possible way so if you see the diagram so there is a private domain information okay so here you can so see the information is very private very critical information and it is disseminated only to a targeted domain okay so if in exam this question come you have to draw this diagram also what are the applications of this okay so making available corruption related data so this is very common if any ministry any division any official is going to do any corruption so if you make that data available to concerned body concerned media person or to concerned authority so that is application of this model next is making available research studies inquiry report impact studies commissioned by the government or independent commission to the affected party okay so those who, those parties who have been affected you can available the report or some document that is required by them making human right violation cases freely available to judiciary ngos and concerned citizen okay so if there is any violation cases any human right violation cases so what you can do is you can make that cases or that uh, information available to uh, concerned and use or judiciary okay so fourth application is making available information that is usually suppressed okay this is the best example that is happening in the world because some some country for example it is going to establish a factory which is going to affect the environment or some radioactive industry or some discharge discharge which is going to affect the uh, society country or world 
so that type of information if that type of information is made available making available information that is usually suppressed for instance environmental information on radioactivity spill if you and discharge information on green rating of company to concerned community okay so you can give that information to the concerned community they'll take that they'll take the action so these are some of the application of critical flow model okay let's go to next part so what are the example what are the projects uh, that has been using this uh, model so one of the project is wikileaks.org next project is uh, www.transparency.org okay that is delhi corruption news is there here next is in bangladesh they have uh, a site called www.banglarights.net okay so it deals with human right portal and another is in india that is central vigilance vigilance community that is cvc.nic.in okay so again it, it deals with the corruption complaints or uh, any you know jurisdiction activities okay let's go to the evolution part overall evolution of this model so this model is more directed and involved in comparison to broadcasting of course because it is directed means to a particular person it is directed only to a targeted audience that why that's why it is more directed different organization can use it differently depending on aspect of government the situation they want to address okay so various as we saw uh, various applications so it can be used in different area but the thing that we have to take care is the information should be given only to a targeted audience by focusing on the critical aspect of information and locating it likeable user the model corrects information failure raising awareness about bad governance so this is very important for a country those who are suffering a bad governance because if this type of model is installed or applied so uh, corruption or bad governance is going to be vanished very soon critical flow model is more focused in term of its information content at its intended user yeah of course what type of content we are going to flow and what and that content to whom we are going to give so these are the two, two things due to critical aspect of information the model ex exposes the weakest aspect of governments and decision making mechanism and informs people about specific cases of state failure bad governance yeah so if this type of information is leaked the audience themselves will come to know okay what is happening in the country who is the corrupted one what type of corruption is going on so this is very important model for establishing good governance at the same time by fueling public unrest the model exerts pressure on concerned government institution an individual to take notice the interest and opinion of the masses in decision making process yeah so um, if this type of information comes out so of course there will be there will be public unrest and the concerned you know uh, government will have a pressure to correct the things to correct the corruption and all the responsibility of creating such model may lie more with the civil society okay so the civilians those who are um, there so more responsibility is for them they should uh, do this because if uh, uh, we have to watch the government policies and the government officials and the government actions because they are the one who are going to uh, who are going to you know establish a bad governance because they are ultimately involved so where this model fails so there is a question uh in which case does critical flow model fail so this made uh, this model fails in a country where there is a very tight control of overall information okay so can you comment in the video name a country who has a very tight control on information that citizens cannot do not have right to flow information they do not have right to take any decision so please can you name some countries okay so in this type of country this type of model totally fail they cannot be applied okay so the model will not work in cases where government mechanism do not encourage public no there is no encouragement for public public is just like a puppet so they cannot uh, approve anything they cannot publicly speak anything it will also fail where the government maintains a tight control overall information there it remains restricted to top few level of the government okay same thing there is the people are just puppet citizens are just puppet they have to follow whatever the government says so please name some countries in comment box so next i'll be coming with third model that is comparative uh, model okay so thank you and stay safe